getting ready to do my podcast radio show. If you want to listen to it, you can go to to uh, iHeartRadio or um, well, the easiest free way to do it is go to Spreaker, uh, Tuck on the Shoba Show. Actually, I think the new one's called Re- Resurrected or something like that. I don't know. Um, found out my sister, Lisa, has COVID again. It's the second time, and I have a... Um, my sister Amy's son, Justin, who has a new baby daughter, caught it from a guy who was working for And Mom said there ought to be a law against people knowingly spreading that stuff. Actually, there is. I'd have to look it up. Um, um, Like I explained to my mom, Linda and I have to be really careful on where we go and stuff because of COVID. We take several precautions. Last time I said what the precautions were on here. My, uh, I've got removed, the video got removed for spreading disinformation. Well, now all that is coming out that I knew what I was talking about. I'm not even going to go into it, but a good healthy diet, um, supplements, And I sent her what we do in private message on Facebook. I need to tell you, Mom, it's just going to get worse before it gets better. And now they're finally admitting that the main thing that the vaccine does is just make it less harsh when you catch COVID. Um, before they were claiming it was a cure-all, I think. I don't know. Got me a new stone mug about uh, two weeks ago, something like that. It was the only one they had. You can't see it, but, well, maybe you can. Right there is supposedly a chip. It's not a chip. But because of that, it stayed on the shelf. (coughs) I, uh, Went to Walmart, went to Tractor Supply, bought a bunch of stuff, including a brand new hacksaw and aluminum foil and a rope. Sean the Sheep this afternoon is going to be met with extreme prejudice, and he's going in a freezer. He's going to freezer camp. I explained carefully to my son Nick how to, to go ahead and put him down humanely. Um, and he's a bully he doesn't let the rest of the livestock eat he'll chase them off even if he's done eating I think I'm just not uh, and those hair sheep males we've got two of them now we bought a little one that uh, is very sweet and very pretty and so um He's surplus, and he's a bully. Um, He's getting ready to meet his maker, more or less. And that's a a nice way of saying he is going to die. Yeah. (laughs) The... uh, it is dastardly cold outside. The weather bug on here says 31. My phone says 29. Linda's car says 25. I believe her car over everything else because it's got a deal in there that can tell you what it is. Um, 
Nick and I went all over the world. I took Linda to eat this morning, and then I prayed real hard about it and felt that it was not fitting for her to go to Walmart. There's um, some new variants out, and some of this stuff is is really communicable. Um, we're going to be skipping dining out quite a bit in the near future. Um, I have this um, deep in my gut feeling that this is going to be a wave that goes over everybody and that uh, it'll dissipate and disappear, I hope. I came in here and it wasn't freezing in here but I did just turn my heat all the way up excuse me kind of a half to deal I've I've got so much to do right now it's unbelievable I mean I'm really really uh, really busy and I don't believe um, anything's going to slow down if anything is getting ready to be busier I, I called my best friend Jerry seeing how he's doing and told him that uh, get ready for some mutton because I'm going to be sending some well I'll take a small package he and Diane don't eat a whole lot. You know, I wish Linda and I didn't eat as much as we do. Linda doesn't eat as much as I do. Um, but, uh... Sean will meet his demise. He'll be bled out. And then this afternoon, Nick will be out there dressing him out. I've got a a titanium skinning knife in one of my drawers I'll need to find so that he can uh, use that. It's sharper than a razor. You can believe that or not. I know razor blades are thin and real sharp. This thing has held an edge and literally you can shave with it. Um, speaking of shaving, the beard's going to come back. Um, I've got court uh, coming up on the 9th by then it'll be nice and doctorly looking I'll get a haircut I haven't called my boy Dale today to see how he's doing yeah I finally did what I was threatening to do I did a new be kind sign up there um, Hang on. <sighs> Here in about about an hour, Linda have to go get the children's from from school. School S K O O L, and uh, we put gasoline in her car so that she could get over there and back without running out. I'll tell you what, today is not the day to be broke down out in this weather. It just isn't. I've, uh, I haven't seen many people that were broke down. I haven't seen any, actually. I did see a guy walking with a big, thick coat on into the wind. He pulled his hood over, and it blew back up. And there is a hard north wind coming in now. Uh, originally it was west, then it was northwest, and now it's out of the straight out of the north. I haven't checked the weather to see what it's going to really be doing tonight. I'm just glad that I'm going to be nice and warm. Um, yesterday, uh, Tigger and Papa watched some Pikachu toys kind of deal and uh, I went into the parlor this morning and there he was I had a handkerchief I hadn't blown my nose on anything so white hanky that I'd forgot Linda brought it from the laundry and set it down on the table uh, I sit 
in her recliner and she sits in her big white overstuffed leather chair and there I, we have these TV tables and I have one sitting next to the recliner I sit in when we watch television and that's where my water goes well that that uh that handkerchief was folded up and sitting on top of that. Now Tigger has a little stuffed puppy he calls puppy. Stuffed dog. It's it's cute. And sometimes he's puppy. But I went in there and there's puppy on my recliner with that white handkerchief over it for a blanket. He was making sure puppy was warm. <laughs> and I asked him to give me a hug and he said no. <laughs> And his daddy says, now you give Papa a hug? No. And it's no with a British accent. It is so cute. But anyway, I got to get another sip here. I'm covered up with things to do. Um, and I'm going to try to get them all done. Um, I already did my daily bath this morning so that I didn't have to this afternoon. And uh, I, my intention is, I think Linda is making tacos for supper. I, I guess I bought more tomato and some Colby Jack cheese to grate up and uh, tortillas, big ones, and salsa. So um, all that would be available uh, and sour cream and birthday presents, and a bunch of other stuff. You know, my brain isn't working. Talk like I was saying earlier, my buddy Jerry's having problems. They have these, these big cooking pots. I mean big, you can sit down inside them. They're huge. That they, they do a cook, and they cook like all the different... Um, different uh no i don't i bet it wasn't uh it wasn't the cooking pot stem that broke they cook they these things are steam heated and they uh cook they have a lid that sets down on it and uh they cook like the apricot apple cherry whatever fried pie ingredients, the meat pie ingredients, they cook in those. Then they they uh, power wash them out. But uh, that was one of Linda's ducks. It was probably the dough mixer. Uh, stem on the mixer broke and so they had to take it and weld it back together. Um, that's an expensive um, expensive repair he's got several really good welders that work for him but uh, the downtime on that is what the problem is back at you mom john i love you stay safe stay warm Michael Paul, I love you. Stay safe and stay warm. Chris in Florida, I love you. Stay safe and uh, Florida, you don't pretty much have to worry about staying warm. Monty, love you. Stay safe and stay warm. Shelly, you and yours stay safe and stay warm. David, you stay safe and stay warm. Jackie, you and yours stay safe and stay warm. Yeah, right there. I made a new one. Love all of you. God bless you. We'll do this again tomorrow, maybe. Bye.